My name is Justin and I'm the nature interpreter at the Royal Botanical Gardens. Now I'm joining you here from my backyard and I can tell that spring is right around the corner. I've noticed that the days are getting longer, the temperatures are getting warmer, and I've noticed that animals have been busy running around collecting materials to build their nests. Now what do you think animals are looking for to build their nests? Hmm. Well, why don't we set up a little experiment to see what they are looking for? Now I'm going to set up a little station right down here where I'm going to lay out a bunch of me sticks and leaves and rocks, whatever I can find, and I'm going to see which of these materials the animals take away with them. Now this little material station, you can set it up wherever you'd like, in your front yard, your backyard, a park nearby, as long as it's easy to get to for these animals. Now I'm going to go for a little walk around my neighborhood to collect all kinds of materials and get this experiment started. So I've cleared out a little bit of an area right here where It'll be easy to see what I put down and what gets taken away. If you have a placemat or something like that, that might help as well. But this is what I'm going to be working with. So one of the things that I brought back are a few kind of larger sticks that I found lying on the ground. So I'll leave those there. I also have a whole bunch of bark off of a, a branch that was fallen off the tree. So maybe that will be useful to an animal. Now those first sticks were pretty large, so I also grabbed a whole bunch of smaller twigs. So maybe the, the animals will prefer these twigs over those larger branches. So I'll put those there as well. And just out of curiosity, I picked up a couple of rocks and a little bit of gravel uh, as well, just to see if maybe those might be useful to some animals uh, for maybe a table or something. Who knows? Who knows? So I'll leave those rocks and gravel there too. So I'm just checking back on my materials and I can see a pretty big difference from when I first left them out here. Now very clearly I can see that those larger sticks have been left there. I can see the rocks are still there, but the bark and the little twigs that I left in between are pretty much all gone. Now I think one of the big difference between what was in the middle and on the ends here is that these larger sticks here, they're very rigid. They don't bend very easily, so it's really tough for animals to kind of weave them into their nests like they would with those smaller twigs that I had there. Now, animals as well, they are often looking for uh, kind of softer materials to make a comfortable layer on the inside of their nest. That might be where that bark has gone. Uh, that bark would also be very flexible and able to be maneuvered and weaved through those sticks that they might be using. Now, rocks on the other hand, while they didn't get taken away by the animals around here, uh, some of the animals that live on the shorelines and on the edges of the ocean, they might actually use those kinds of rocks to build their nests. But unfortunately, I'm not living on the edge of the ocean right now, so they are still here hanging out. So there you have it. Those are my results from my little experiment that I did. Feel free to share how your experiment went, what you might have learned about the nesting materials that the animals around you need, and feel free to share those in the comments. And I hope you had a fun time learning about what kind of materials animals need to make their nests.